example we are asked to create 500 pixel length subnets and we are asked to find out the subnet mask number of addresses in each subnet first and last address in first subnet and first and last address in last subnet that is subnet number 500 Now, how do we go about this example? There are five steps to solve this example. Step number one: identify the class of given IP address. Step two: determine the number of bits to be maintained in subnet ID part and the host ID part of the given requirement. Step three: determine the subnet mask and selection for IP address. Step four. write the write down the subnetworks with the range of ip address in each and step 5 determine the subnetwork address first usable ip address last usable ip address and broadcast address for each subnetwork on solving all these steps will be able to answer all the questions which are asked to us now first step is to identify the class of given ip address the given ip address is 18.0.0.0/8 here the first octet value lies in the range 0 to 127 first octet value is 18 which lies in the range 0 to 127 therefore its class is a therefore the class of ip address is a for class a address we know that there are 8 bits in the network id part and remaining 24 bits in the host id part ip address has 32 bits in all out of 32 bits if there are 8 bits in the network id part remaining 24 bits will be there in the host id part and the default mask for class a is calculated by making all the bits in the network id part as ones and all the bits in the host id part as zeros now if we look at the first octet value here the first octet value has all 8 bit ones its decimal equivalent will be 255 the second octet is having all 8 bit zeros its decimal equivalent will be 0 the third octet is having all 8 bits as zeros so its decimal equivalent will be 0 and the last octet is having again all 8 bit zeros so its decimal equivalent will be 0 and thus the default mask for class a becomes 255 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 now with subnetting this two level hierarchical address changes to three level hierarchical address having network id part subnet id part and host id part now here one important thing you have to notice in class a the network id part is going to have fixed eight number of bits and the number of bits in the subnet id part and the host id part are going to vary depending on the given requirements now next step is to calculate the number of subnets the number of hosts per subnet now let us determine the number of bits to be maintained in the subnet id part and the host id part as per the given requirement now the requirement is of 500 subnets so we need to keep at least 9 bits in the subnet id part here the subnet id part and host id part will cover 24 bits because 8 bits are already there in the network id part which are fixed so 32 minus 8 is 24 24 bits are altogether occupied by the subnet id part in the host id part and if we push 9 bits in the subnet id part so remaining bits 15 bits 24 minus 9 is 15 15 bits must be put in the host id part now according to this the number of subnetworks available will be 2 raised to 9 that is 5 1 2 and this 512 number is nearer nearer to the requirement of 500 subnets if we take here 8 bits in the subnet id part the requirement requirement will not be satisfied because 2 raised to 8 will be 256 and our requirement is of 500 subnets so we put 9 bits in the subnet id part so that we get 512 subnets which is near to our requirement of 500 subnets and the possible number of hosts Per subnet, or possible number of addresses in each subnet, is equal to two raised to fifteen. Now, this two raised to fifteen can be written as two raised to five into two raised to ten. Now, two raised to five is thirty-two, and two raised to ten is one zero two four. 
other way this 32 into 1024 is 32768 now this 1024 can be split as 4 into 256 and 32 into 4 is 128 thus we can express this complete number 32768 as 128 into 256 it means that each subnet will have 128 sub blocks of 256 addresses each keep this in mind here each, each sub network is having 32768 addresses and we have split this 32768 addresses as 128 into 256 addresses it means that each sub network will have 128 sub blocks of 256 addresses each and the number of usable hosts per sub net will be 32768 minus 2 is equal to 32766 now why minus 2 over here because the first and last address in a subnet are network address and broadcast address respectively which cannot be configured on any machine connected in the network now let us determine the subnet mask here in given example we have put 9 bits in subnet id part 15 bits in host id part and for class a 8 bits are always there in the network id part to call, calculate the subnet mask we have to keep if we have we have to make all bits in the network id part as ones all bits in the host id part as ones and all bits in the host sorry uh, in order to calculate the subnet mask we have to keep all bits in the network id part as ones all bits in the subnet id part as ones and all bits in the host id part as zeros now we know that the ipv4 address is having four octets here the octet one is having eight bits which are all high second octet is having eight bits all high bits third octet is having only the most significant bit high and remaining seven bits are all zeros and the fourth octet is having all eight bits as zeros now the decimal equivalent of the bits in octet one is 255 the decimal equivalent of the bits in octet 2 is 255 the decimal equivalent of the bits in octet 3 is 128 and the decimal equivalent of the bits in octet 4 is 0 therefore the subnet mask for the given example becomes 255.255.128.0 and the default subnet mask for class a is 255.0.0.0 now with this kind of subnetting example it is changed to 255.255.128.0 now this below example shows how to calculate the decimal value from the bits of an octet now when all bits are high the sum of the weights becomes 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 255 and when only one bit is high in an octet most significant bit is high in an octet its decimal equivalent will be 128 now next is to find out the slash notation now to determine the slash notation we have to calculate the number of bits which are pushed towards the network part means the total number of bits occupied by the network id part and the subnet id part network id part is having 8 bits subnet id part is having 9 bits so 8 plus 9 is 17 uh, so the slash notation becomes slash 17 without subnetting it was slash 8 by default for class a and now by subnetting that class a address the slash notation becomes slash 17 now next step is step number 4 and 5 in step 4 and 5 we determine the range of ip addresses in each sub network but before de determining the range of ip addresses in each sub network we should calculate the number of addresses which will be occupied by 500 subnets as per the given requirement because this will help us to write down the last address of subnet number 500 now each subnet is is occupying 32768 addresses we have seen in the previous this uh, slides so 500 subnets is going to cover 500 into 32768 addresses now this 32768 can be written as 32 into 1024 and 1024 can be further written as 4 into 256 now we can combine this 32 and 4 32 multiplied by 4 is 128 
so we get the uh, 500 into 3276 it has 500 into 128 into 256 now this 500 can be split as 250 into 2 because the maximum value for 8 bit decimal number is 250 so we try to split this 500 so 500 is 250 into 2 and this 128 as it is and 256 as it is and therefore the total number of addresses occupied by 500 subnets will be 250 into 256 into 256 now how do we write the last address in subnet number 500 we just now have calculated that the total number of addresses occupied by 500 subnets are 250 into 256 into 256. Our address block starts from 18.0.0.0 slash 17. Thus, the last address in subnet number 500 will be 18.249.255.255 slash 17. Now, if you subtract this last IP address, if you subtract the first IP address from this last IP address, then you'll get the number 250 multiplied by 256 multiplied by 256. Because the block is starting from 0, so 0 to 249 is 250, 0 to 255 is 256, and 0 to 255 is 256. Thus, the last address in subnet number 500 will be 18. dot. 249.255.255 slash 17. Now, let us write down the subnetworks, the subnet address, the first usable host address, the last usable host address, broadcast address in each subnet. Now, as per the given requirement, we are able to create total 512 subnets because there are 9 bits in the subnet ID part 2 raised to 9 is 2, 512. But the given requirement is of 500 subnets. So we write down the addresses for subnet number, last subnet that is 500, subnet number 500. Now here each of the subnetwork is having 128 blocks of 256 addresses. We have calculated it just now that each subnetwork is having 128 blocks of 256 addresses. So subnet, subnet 0 is starting with the address 18.0.0.0 slash 17. The first usable host address in subnet 0 will be 18.0.0.1 slash 17. The second usable host address will be 18.0.0.2 and so on. And the last usable host address will be 18.0.127.254 slash 17. And the broadcast address for subnet 0 will be 18.0.127.254. 255 slash 17. Now, if you subtract the subnetwork address from the broadcast address, you'll get 128 blocks each with 256 addresses. I have shown the 128 blocks marked in green color 0 to 127. Total are 128 blocks, and the blocks each block is having 120, uh, 256 addresses. 0 to 255 is 256. Now, similarly, subnet 1 is occupying 128 sub blocks each with 256 addresses. So, subnet 1 will have the subnetwork address as 18.0.128.0 slash 17. First usable host address as 18.0.128.1 slash 17. The last usable IP address will be 18.0.255. 254 and the broadcast address for subnet 1 will be 18.0.255.255 slash 17. Similarly, we can write down the range of IP addresses belonging to subnet 2, range of IP addresses belonging to subnet 3, range of IP addresses belonging to subnet number 498, subnet number 499 and so on. Now here we are particularly asked to determine the first and last usable address of subnet number 500 and we have determined the last address of subnet number 500 in the previous slide as 18.245.255 so here subnet number 500 is having the last usable address as 18.2 18.2 
last address as 18.249.255.255. If you subtract one from this broadcast address, you will get the last usable host address belonging to the subnet number 500. That is 18.249.255.254. The subnetwork address for this subnet number 500 is 18.249.128.0/17. The first usable IP address will be 18.249.128.1/17. Second usable IP address will be 128.2 and so on. Now, as per the subnetting example, uh, we get total 512 subnets. So last uh, five, the subnet number 512 will have the subnetwork address as 18.255.128.0/17. First usable IP address in this last subnet will be 18.255.128.1 and so on and the last usable at ip address will be 18.255.255.254 slash one uh, slash 17 and the broadcast address in subnet number 512 is 18.255.255.255 slash 17. <clears throat> now here our subnetting example is complete but we have to summarize all the results before summarizing the results you should note down the important points from this range of IP addresses, the subnet address is always ending with a zero or, or even number and the broadcast address always ends with an odd number. And each subnet here is having 128 sub blocks with, one, with uh, 256 addresses each. Thus, the subnet mask for the given subnetting example is 255.255.0. 255.128.0 number of addresses in each subnet is 32768 but the usable addresses are 32768 minus 2 that is 32766 the first and last address in first subnet is 18.0.0.1 slash 17 and 18.0.127.254 slash 17 respectively. The first and last address in last subnet, that is subnet number 500 is 18.249.128.1 slash 17. This is the first address of subnet number 500 and 18.249.255.254 slash 17 and this is the last usable address of subnet number 500. Thank you.